Do you see what she said? Did you see what he said? Like it's time for another episode of the Celebrity Bullshit, God bitch. Damn. Let's get Let's it. Get it. <laughs> well, children, the time has come for us to get into people's ass on another episode of Celebrity Bullshit. That's the bass drum. Right, good. Because it's, <laughs> it's, it's definitely come hither time. First things first, before we jump into all of the bleh. We do want to say congratulations to Amara La Negra. She did um, suffer a miscarriage, but she is now pregnant with um, twins, as she did announce today. So congrats to her. And congrats to Lil Nas X being um, one of GQ's Man of the Year. Like, that's dope. And, I mean, that's he definitely has bold. been... He he definitely been the talk of the town, honey, whether it's good or bad. It's, it's definitely been him. So congrats to both of them for accomplishments and the new additions honey but we finna jump into this bullshit because bullshit it definitely is number one lord the astral world performance now i've seen a lot of back and forth on this shit in regards to is travis responsible is he supposed to be you know in control of the crowd was there something that he could have done different is it his fault that the people died or suffer injuries it gotta 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 so it has been a lot i think today might have been the first day that it wasn't just a colossal about mess yeah. about that. So, yeah. um, but we did find out that the young man who fell off his dad's shoulders and that was in the coma, he did pass away, unfortunately. So condolences to that family. But that was a lot. I, I kind of see both sides of it because I have definitely been wrestling back and forth for that shit from the beginning. Like, I do feel like as an artist, when you are on stage, it's kind of like you the teacher and them the students out there. And although you might have the students in the class who they going to do what the fuck they going to do, when the teacher get to a certain point and they, they get that shit together, they able to get that shit together and make it work. And it's just even crazier now that all of these celebrities are, you, or now you're seeing so many videos of times where people have stopped their shows or immediately took taking care of a situation that was an emergency with one of their fans, like right then and there. Mm-hmm. And, they, and, you know, you point out the fact that Travis Scott was continuing to perform, even though they got people climbing up shit, trying to get them to stop the show. It's just, it's a lot of different dynamics. And now a lot of the celebrities that are having shows are checking on their fans and, you know, doing all that now. And it's like, are y'all doing it because y'all don't want to be talked about? Right. Or do you really give a fuck about these people out here? Because once the ticket is purchased, they, they don't give a fuck. They here to get a show and and go on. But it's like, That shit is real. And not to mention that it is very well known that at Travis Scott shows that there are mosh pits. There's, there's uh what they call it raging that, mm-hmm. that, that shit takes place at those shows. And it's like, I personally wouldn't even have my children there. Cause I, I don't see what an eight year old is doing in the extra world. But at the same time, you can't tell nobody what to do. That's if that's something that he enjoys, the father didn't see nothing wrong with it. Cool. I think that's great that he shared that experience with him, but it's also heartbreaking because he no longer has his son anymore because of that foolishness. I mean, it was a lot looking at those I mean, videos of the people that was in the crowd. The, and, not even just the videos. One person posted a very detailed story. I'm talking about from beginning to end, how they were in the middle of the crowd. How by the time they landed to the floor, there were two people below him. So it's like the person below him may have been deceased. The the person directly below the person below him but was deceased. The person directly below him was injured, and then it was him trying to get out of, of the hole yeah. in the crowd to the point where people couldn't breathe. And it brought me back no shade. To, That's scary. Yeah, but it brought me back no shade to Beyonce where she did a tour, and she recorded. Uh, it was one of her documentaries, and they had a. They were. She was sitting on the stage, and they were talking about how she couldn't set up her scene or set up her performance a certain way because it was a fire hazard. And Beyonce's response was, "So why they can't go out the front door then?" You know, it's like that. That it's for a split second. I feel like sometimes artists do become selfish, and it's yeah. just like at, at, in that moment. Because at the end of the day, it's about me, and I'm the star. Y'all coming to see me, so I want to put on the show. Yeah, and it's just like going back and looking at posts and looking at responses from even the police department out there. Mm -hmm. And they were stating that they had a meeting with him about their concerns about 
you know, the safety hazards and the things that could and, mm. and may or may not have occurred right. during this festival or concert or whatever the case may be. And basically a lot of things were disregarded. Yeah. You know, and, and I feel so, like that's why they getting in his ass where they are, because it was like you were, you, it wasn't like you were unaware. You were alerted you know, that it was a possibility. Somebody, you were somebody given information. Right. Right. And then it's like these people, like the videos are so disheartening with the people jumping on the stage and, trying to tell the cameraman to like, get his attention. Yes. It's like the ambulance right there reviving people. And then you, you you also think about what kind of state of mind this person may be in. Are they in a rock star state of mind? Ain't no telling what doesn't happen in an Odyssey Osborne concert mm-hmm. that, that hasn't been reported or that we don't know about. You get what I'm saying? A Blink-182 concert that we don't know about things that have happened there. You get what I'm saying? That just didn't go as mainstream as it has now due to social media. And it's like, why, why would, why would you disregard even, even if you're having the concert outside, why wouldn't you still number like, you know, you know how they do like a capacity. Yeah. Like how many tickets can be sold because for I, the safety of first, those like people. Like motherfuckers been in quarantine. So yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to get back all Which they that I've probably be back been in quarantine at this yeah, moment. Yeah, I'm trying to get back all the shit that I probably been missing out on from not being able to have shows. So I'm a, I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do, and not to mention, well, you are an artist, like you said when Beyonce made the comment about why can't it just whatever. At the end of the day, that venue, those people are trying to do whatever they can to please their artist. They don't really give a fuck about the fans. Number one, you didn't already bought your ticket, mm-hmm. so whatever. You see, when you get here, you want to deal with it, cool. If you don't, we already done got paid for the purchase yeah. or whatever. It's like Coachella yeah. is one of the largest events, and you've Huge. you've never heard of anything like that. Yeah. At least to my, not to my knowledge. If you have, the most put it in the comments and let high. us know. Like, right, that's the, the most that you've heard about <laughs> it. But it's just like up. that was a lot. And then all of the stuff that came out with all the different demonic presences and all that stuff that was the there. The people with needles. Yes, because what they said, one of the um the police officers or somebody, that he found a hole or like a prick in his neck or something from him being injected with something. But it's just like, Lord have mercy. And then they were like, oh, he was encouraging the rage. <clears throat> he was encouraging the demonic. And for those who crab. don't think that it's possible for a motherfucker just inject you with something, y'all. Do you remember? We, I don't know if we talked about it, but there was a story where a nigga jabbed a woman with a fucking mm-hmm. uh, uh, a syringe full of his fucking semen. So if a nigga jab you, just to jab you with nut, I'm, you at a concert, I'm sure they doing all types of shit. So it's not far-fetched at all. People are sick. People, people are very anything. sick. People are sick. They but don't do anything. That was it. Was a lot, and I feel bad for him. I do sense. too. Like definitely, I feel bad for him because I, I honestly just him being a dad. He's and so, I feel bad that they dragging he's so all the. Chill. He's I think never this has got to be the first time. No, he no he normally it's not. He, he's never in. It's stormy and Kylie and, and that's music it. and that be it. That's it. He's like, never he in be bullshit. chilling. So for him to be in some bullshit and it be right. this deep. You know, and not I just only don't feel him, like it's his character. Not only just him, like I don't like the fact that they're trying to drag the Kardashians into this shit. Like, I'm why are y'all under my page about something that my brother in law did? Granted, we all family, but that's not my situation. And now we have to make a, now a, we got to make statements. statements. <laughs> like I think either Chloe so, or Ky- Courtney posted a picture of themselves, like how they normally would. Mm. Oh, you're so insensitive. People die, and it's like, girl, I didn't kill no fucking body. I wasn't even there. Like, why? Why am I putting that? This it just seems cheesy to me. Away. Like, not, not look at that. I ain't even did no. <laughs> like, uh, like how? Now I get in it. Who how? said my name? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even said shit. shit, girl. That's I my, just heard that's about That's one of my it. favorite Damn. memes. Like, Nene was dead ass. Like, and I see that. I'm not. How I get in? Like, <laughs> I get how? Like. You're literally under my picture telling me I'm insensitive. Bitch, I wouldn't like. Like, y'all find any reason just to drag just me to, down. Right. We done gave up the TV so this show. Like the, we done girl, did it So this is like the first time <laughs> where I just been like, leave the, leave the Kardashian leave sisters alone. alone. Like, child, like, leave them alone. So yeah. now that I had to put out these little cheesy ass statements, like, girl. And it doesn't matter that you threw Kylie Cosmetics away, you still black. Like, that's so dumb. She profited already. It's done. These people ain't, ain't now there from during no the, fucking now foundation. Now watch during the holiday season when she break the internet again, because that's what she do with her cosmetic like, line. Not, like, y'all, let, y'all please. Just, Come on now. I just, I, my prayers out to all the family. What was she supposed to fucking do? 
prayers, prayers absolutely prayers to Travis. Yeah, you know the protection for him and his family and his kids because a lot of people took a lot of loss. So you it ain't no telling what people are do. People have been outside of his home where his family hails. You know that, that yeah, has that's to be scary. that's unacceptable. Um, so um, because I, the man has been very apologetic during the whole and very situation. Helpful. He's doing everything that he can, yeah. but I mean. Of course, if we had to just put that energy into the front end, we wouldn't be working so hard on the back end. So that's yeah, just you shouldn't have understood. That's the just the, the moral of the story. Like, no, for real. That's just yeah. moral of the story with that. So So I feel bad, but I get it. I get I so, get why everyone's enraged. Yeah. So yeah. just I hope that that situation does you know, oh. figure itself out. I mean, people have died, so I mean it is is a very you sticky situation. Just, no, you can't. Yeah, we just so, can't. You know, and that's fucked up that we just can't. Cause I just hope I that wish the, I could, but right, I the whole situation, school. right, is is sticky. So families, kids, best of luck to the Travis Scott family household and the Kardashians. Y'all just, <laughs> y'all just ignore them people. Just oh my god, yeah. what's up, y'all? It's your girl Head Doll in charge and looking dot for dot tiny. Hey, y'all. Your two favorite girls in the whole wide world from Debate Bay. And I know y'all have seen me rocking this fabulous ass merch. And we just want to let y'all know that it's not just for us, it's for y'all as well. Our Bay Tribe. Hit us up, let us know what y'all want. Inbox us and we can get y'all set up too, honey. As you see, we got all these amazing colors. I got on burgundy now. We also got the pink. So this is not all that we have to offer, but of course, we just want to focus on what we got right now. Keep an eye out because the merch is going to be expanding. We want to see y'all with this shit on now. Come on. You never know what little sweepstakes and little enclosures might come up later on. So hit us up. Let us know what y'all interested in and we can get y'all shipped up and shaped out as soon as possible. Hit us up. Get the merch. We out. Ooh. Um. <laughs> I won't. Every motherfucker who said that I was being mean and oh, she's just expressing herself. She's free now and she's just wanting to express her sexuality. You bitches, every time she posts something, you guys like to hate on her because she. No. When it's time for Debate Bay to thank our followers for getting us where we're going to be, I'm going to put some Ricky Dick ass song. No, I'm, I'm going to play goddamn mm-hmm. uh, Sauce and Antenna. Re, re, do. Re, re, do. But you can't do it on the dick, though. But you can't do it on the dick, though. I'm playing that. We're going to have a balloon set of however many followers we got. Me and Tiny going to goddamn hit that shit in the camera one time. We're going to thank y'all. We're going to. If y'all have seen the 7-Eleven video by Beyonce, I'm sure you've seen it. It's going to have yep. that feel, that vibe. We're going to yep. laugh, dance. We're going to thank y'all, and we're going to move the fuck on. You're not seeing titties and suckers for an appreciation post from the baby. Not at all. I, I, what was it doing? It was yeah. giving very much me girl sister, sex. You know, me and my sister had a conversation about it uh, what, this past week. Why? If we somebody can explain to me it. why, I won't say shit else. Cause if I you can tell me lie. what that helped, what it did, how that how that furthered Chloe, I would love you to know. Just thank the fans. Simply that. What was the lollipop for? What was the candy coated kisses for the clovers, girl? No, ma'am, and I ain't never been that. I, I just lunch, liked you, girl. Lunch, I ain't never right. been no motherfucking clove. What's a clove? The clovers are from East Compton, and they're cheerleaders. Oh, them from Bring It On. Oh, okay, yeah, no thanks. That's who the clove like, Those girl. Oh. I'm so sorry. I did not like that. I that appreciation post was not it. appreciated. Cause why? Cause she has, she has said, it's it's like she's taken away from her talent already before she can even Hello. get deep into it. Have we not had that conversation yeah. at least four or five times before? Yeah. When you decide to alleviate your music and go into sucking lollipops, lollipops and riding you. stages and. Doing all of the the and being the seen extra at shit basketball that games with Ghana. Ghana, like what are we doing? <laughs> what's going on here? You're no longer and not you uh, from Atlanta. What's wrong, with, what's wrong with Ghana? But I'm saying, like, she, c- come, on, come on, Milan. She's in Atlanta. Okay, I'm at a Hawks game with Ghana. Okay. No, how else is she supposed to spend her it's time? It's just here? look how it looks, though. That's it's what I'm just, saying. Like, just, what's wrong with Ghana? It's nothing wrong with Ghana, but just look. He's how a it great looks. guy. We, what have we heard about Gunna? He's a great guy. Girl, Gunna, Gunna, is, don't, from the Gunna, fo- don't have Gunna no is from the so Foway. Like, he's from the Foway where all the Crips stay. Like, 
No, on Creole Road, Ghana. Chloe. He the, he took her to the Hawks man game. From Creole Road. Seats. There's no way they weren't on Chrome Road. They were on. They were okay. At the, so I'm uh, just. The arena, so what I'm Portside. saying is, is that you're you are now because okay now you. You just made I'm it. I'm just saying what's wrong with Gunna. I don't. You right away. It's, it's, it's not. No, no it's but I'm saying no. You're. Gunna, you are giving. The perception of what thank it looks you. The like. image now. You and sucking we, on lollipops. Chloe, we you half you. naked everywhere that you go, and now you're sitting courtside with that's Gunna. Like you. that's not. That's not your that's mo, not your honey. Thing. Music is my man. That too keeps me warm that's at not night. Your thing. Now like, you sitting in the front with mother. So Cause you know he had that bonnet on and like the big ass glasses. That's where we at. We're the end Girl, the move along. Like, come on now. Gunna, move along. Gunna is not giving Jay Z. He's along. not giving Jay Z at all. Move like, at, at, at no point in his career at this moment. I'm not saying that he can't reach it, like, but move along. Like, at no point at this moment. But what I'm saying is hey. like that's just not Chloe's hey. thing. What if they were legit friends though, y'all? Like, who said they? It's were just. It, but, what, that's not the problem, Manon. I mean, ain't nothing wrong ain't with them picking out as that. legit friends, but at the but same just, time, it's like, like... We're just saying, Chloe, out of but nowhere, also, you're look, a toxic look at, bitch. Look at the shit this week going we're through. Oh, every time I sit next to a nigga... Nowhere. Every time I sit next to a nigga, they pin them to me. And they do. So regardless of whether y'all just friends or not, it is all about perception. You are, you are budding right now. And that's not to say that you gotta just be mindful of everybody that you hang out with, but girl, you... That's not, that's not your, that's not you. That's not you, babe. That's not you. The same way you looked hella out of place when you was over there in Meg it's section. It's not about And Ghana. everybody else driving okay. the boat and you got your ass out. Tell me, what we yeah. got to do is remember when she did the video of her dancing and she did this whole live about crying about how insecure she was and now she's in love with herself and yada, yada, yada. And that wasn't for attention. But then the more we see her, the more we can tell certain things are for attention. It's not just, it's it's not Chloe being the Chloe that we know Chloe is. Mm. So then when you see her doing things that she normally doesn't do, and then you see her at a game with Ghana, that's just like us seeing Sierra turn around with Future. We was like, what the fuck? It was different. It was weird. Because that's not even... Her being with Bow Wow is expected. Her being at that time, that's expected. But her being with Future, like, come on, Sierra, you knew better. We had that talk as well. You knew better. So it's just like, are you placing yourself to be in this, like, type of mode? Is this how you want to be seen? Your first video was sexualized as fuck. For no reason. video. And we still don't even know what the damn song is about. Are they having sex? What are they I doing? Can, I still I can't tell you what the song is about. But my thing is, her hanging out with Gunna, I don't, I don't think that should be. It just good. didn't help the perception that everybody That's all I'm saying. That they she was out, crying about. But she, okay, she hang out with Megan Thee Stallion. What's the difference? It just didn't. That's but, what I'm saying. That don't is even. that making that, her look like, that, oh, yeah. No. But, you, but that's the thing. Because when people look that's at Megan, they looking at. They look, they, when people, I ain't gonna lie. When I look at Meg, I'm literally looking at a girl that done made it out the hood and that's smart enough to have a backup plan. That's the type of girl that I'm looking at. A college-educated girl who started her career as a rapper, and if we throw her to sh- shit tomorrow, or if we cancel her tomorrow, she she's still going to gonna have some on. shit to back up with. You get what I'm saying? So no matter, when we saw her with money bag, yo, we told we knew that that wasn't for Meg. That's not for you. Who? What's the name of the guy she with now? What's his name? Party. Party. That's for her. We can tell. It's just the type of vibe that a person is. Her hanging with Meg, Meg is Meg. She's, she is sexualized, sure enough, but she's educated, she's sexualized, she's a but strong she woman, and she embodies it. And she shakes her ass whenever she's out and about having fun. That's, like how many 25, 26 year olds so that, do that? So that's also what I'm saying. Like that's not, But that's not Chloe's, that's that's not not Chloe's thing. thing. That's Meg's thing. That's not Chloe's thing. Because where is even where is exactly. all this naked so ass twerking and stuff coming hang, from? My thing is, what's the difference with her hanging with Gunna versus hanging with Meg? I'm just saying it's, it's not, not. It's about not that. I'm because just saying y'all taking her hanging out with Gunna as if oh no, you're about to be you know one of them. It's like bro, I'm in Atlanta. No, and I'm at the Hawks game with Gunna. Like no, that's not what we're saying. It's not, not right about there. her being with Gunna. It's about everything else that she's doing. Then you turn to sit next to God. It's just it just gives it it just gives it it gives off an image. It does. Because that's not you. We ain't never caught you with nobody in the hip hop world ever. Ever. It's never been done. Now all of a sudden you're over sexualized. Gonna gives you a, a a shout out 
with you being over sexualized and then you end up next to him at a game. So it's just it's just looking a little. That's extra. what it looks like. But at the same time, it's like there's nothing specifically wrong with him. That's what you want to do, sis. But that's at this just point, what it look like. at this point, you have you've chosen what you want to do. So now the thing that's upsetting we me about all of it is no more. I really don't even give a damn. We My whole thing is no is that when I first met this girl, it was literally just music. Chloe was simply music. She wanted it was just it. vocals. It was just range. It, like I said, the grunt, the riffs, the runs, all that. That was what I knew her for. Now it is her ass. And I'm really over that shit. Because it's like you don't have to do all that. Number one, you have a beautiful figure. She's when you have girl. a beautiful figure, you don't really have to do all that naked, all the extra shit. Like no shade, no shade, no fucking shade. But the women who normally be wearing all that shit, when they got that shit put on them so that they and can look like that, like and you that. naturally got naturally. that thing, what are, like what are we doing? Like you're naturally. Just so like now that. it's no longer Chloe's music. It's what's the next naked ass Chloe Instagram post that we're gonna have? What's the next sucker a uh, sucking session that we're gonna have? Like that, you're just you're not helping. You're not helping you. And I get that you're now free. You're all from up under the, the kitty thumb and you're able to be your own woman and all mm-hmm. the other stuff. But let's be real. The feather fucking dress with the you better fucking pay attention. Come on. The sucker on the on the post and all that shit. Let's be real. The flapping your legs open in, in the video for um for Have Mercy, once again, have no clue what the fuck that song is even about. That was that was your debut to the world. Yeah. Not crazy vocals. Not ridiculous music. You are a producer, a pro- as a woman producer in this industry. Sad to say, like how you said, in order for a relationship to work out, the man has to like a woman more, and that's just what that is in that in that sense of relationships yeah. in the industry. All that whole shit will not get you looked at respectively in the music industry as a woman. You can be sexy, but doing too much. Niggas, that's what they're gonna look for as soon as you walk through the door. And I expect, but if you, but if you let her, if you go in with the mindset of I'm here for this, this, that, and the third, like this is what I'm, like this is what I'm for, like what niggas is probably inboxing and wouldn't do now, Chloe, is not the same way that you was approaching her when she was on stage with her sister. Mm-hmm. You, that's these not the same DMs no more. Why? Because you put something else out there. And it's so angering for somebody who was a really a real fan of, of your, your musicality. That's so disheartening. Y'all did that y'all self. We watched y'all That's so fuck, That's studios. so fucking disheartening, bro. For you to have been made and molded by Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Fucking Parkwood Entertainment, the very first people on that label. That's a, that heavy is the head that holds the crown. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's certain shit. It it's certain a- ways you move. She was with fucking Jay-Z. Jay Z, and she was still careful about the pictures that was put out, the mm-hmm. places that they went to, the venues that they that they showed up that together. Oh, I, we show up separate, but leave together. All the little the little in, 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 the little um innuendos of her songs and shit about dipping out and going to the side. This and the third, she was going to see fucking Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Why I'm doing it like this? Because as of right now, I got to be me. This is my brand. This is my money. Clearly, niggas don't care about leaving the bitch where she at so that they can t- their career can continue. Hello, promoting yeah. EPs while your baby mama like, let's be for real. Yeah. Like we just yeah. we we can't. We like that's un like it's unfair. So you you're literally sabotaging yourself doing that kind of stuff. Because now it's I don't really give a fuck about what she got to sing about no more. I want to see her ass. And I and I like I said, I wish that song she has like an abundance of talent. She got that another song, song that just came out that I, I, I think I sent to y'all, but she had on some like little blue outfit. Mm. Another song. Like, it's just like, girl, where are the A1 vocals that you were signed for? Beyonce didn't come and get you because she knew you was going to have a fat ass. She came and got you because vocally nobody talent. is fucking with y'all. Mm. That's all I got on that. It's just, it's aggravating. We just had a conversation about women in the industry. We don't like, want her to. We just that talent. And sad to say, unfortunately, he might be a nice guy. He may be a, a beautiful human being, but you are also attached to thug. We see how this nigga's living. Who's also attached to future. See how this nigga do women. So unfortunately, so unfortunately, <laughs> it 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 flows. It goes. So. He giving you a shout out, what you have naked. And they're saying, we know y'all sitting there, sitting by each other at the court. Y'all might just be friends. 
Mm-hmm. Y'all might just be friends. The same way Sweetie might have been over there, up, over Went, Damson Idris' Damson. house, Damson. literally teaching him how to play piano. But how did it come out to people? No, they was they, like I they was doing like something. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. Do you by all means? If you choose to go that route, hey, go that route. But the media does but take things and they spend it how they want to spend saying. it. That's all I'm saying. That's not perception. your thing, sis. And we're not in. And I hate that. That's what it is. Media. I mean, media was a frenzy back then, for real. It was. It was paparazzi a frenzy for real. But now it's like terrible. You can't even pick your nose without someone. Exactly. Like without somebody doing to say something. Like it's. It's just. I don't know, child. I just. In the words I hope of that is not giving. I hope that this situation blows over because it was a, a nice slew of people who was not feeling the sucker looking. Thank y'all. Like that was unnecessary. It. I didn't appreciate that it. That was unnecessary as fuck. I didn't understand why you had to say thank you like that. It was weird. But it was very, it was very, very well, you've weird. You've had plenty of talks with us this from your low page, ass vo- girl. Yes. Your and to talk to us about anything else any other time. Now you got to be naked to say thank you. That's weird. That's weird. You ain't been because it's like that's what you thanking them for. Thank you for allowing me in the like Jada would never do nothing like that. Never, never. Lord would never do never. Why did you feel like and why? Because that's off brand. Yeah, a lot of probably wouldn't even done nothing. Like I'm saying, that's not that's not your brand. That's not your brand. That's not your thing. That's not your thing. No, so I hope that we we spring back around to the music, honey. Because Lord knows. I, it's just it is that talent. Wrong, I don't baby. like that. That talent is wrong. I don't like that at all. It's weird, and I don't like weird. Um, the City Girls performance. Apparently, they're saying that Carisha walked off stage sooner than the performance was supposed to. She said that the damn show was over. She said, "What the fuck you want me to do? Stand there and smile, girl? Fuck you." <laughs> Y'all know not to play with them, so that's on y'all. But I will say, it it looked very abrupt, and JT looked really, really lost. Why not to play with them, man? Fuck these folks. I don't give a damn about none of these folks. I'm so that's sorry. You, for. you are a fucking entertainer. Yeah. You are a fucking entertainer. You're supposed to be up there competing with Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, well, real. them folks came to see you. I'm tired of that shit. That shit ain't cool. I hope you get canceled. I hope you don't get another motherfucking performance ever. Dead ass, because who the fuck is you? I felt like it was weird because it was like, JT looked really confused, and I feel like she came back in the end and said something about it and gave her a little piece, like trying to save face for her friend, which, I mean, at the end of the day, if we out somewhere and something happened with Tiny Ed, she run off stage, and bitch, our story is that the show was over, we was done. Mm-hmm. The that show was over, over, we was done. Yeah, and we'll handle that off. We'll, we'll handle, and we'll, and we'll, we'll, have, that we'll have that conversation at a later date. We'll but for right that. now, exactly. For, for, That's my point. I'm tired of these motherfuckers. Every other week, it's either her or it's JT cussing out somebody on Twitter. Yeah. No, fuck y'all. Fuck both of y'all. Y'all saying this to the people. That made y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for motherfuckers sitting on your live every day or wondering what the fuck you doing, we wouldn't give a fuck. Right. Because it ain't the rap. It ain't the music. It's barely that. Because even the, the same people you just said you was you, was, you responded to on the internet, these are the same people that said your shit suck. So what the fuck are you really here for? I just want shout out to rap on beat for once. Now, they did say that uh, this is around the time that her baby daddy passed. And if you pay attention to her post, she has been in her feelings a little bit lately. And one of the fans is like, it's, you make it hard for the sympathize well, you because you be on that bipolar that's, shit. That's your fault for not scheduling your shit the way you should have. But what if you already had the prior engagement? That, how? Because you already knew that date. Mm-hmm. If you really had that much pool and you really a city girl and all this extra shit, then go ahead and do it. You want to be a diva? You I'm trying, y'all. Everybody <laughs> should fucking know that this date is all fucking off limits. We ain't doing shit on this date. Matter of mm-hmm. fact, we ain't doing shit for this week. Because mm-hmm. this date is... Because, right, this is going to be too much for me. It's going to be too much for me emotionally, mentally. So... You should have done it that way. Outside yeah. of that, hell no. Nah. It, it, it look, it it look, I'm just it, tired of motherfuckers giving me folks the benefit of the doubt. Now, if it was anybody else that do this shit, they'd get canceled. They'd, oh, we don't fuck with you no more. Mm-hmm. Whatever the case. 
But because it's Carisha and it's JT, y'all keep giving these folks a pass. Fuck that. I saw that. I saw um that conversation before. Like a lot of stuff that y'all faves do, y'all wouldn't let nobody else get away with, and it's very one sided. And it is because it's a lot of shit that. Like you said, a lot of stuff that be going on, the child, yeah, we just willing to turn the blind eye to because it's somebody that we like. But like now I said, let a rapper, no, dead ass, let a male rapper get online and and respond to somebody like that. They they be done for for a couple of weeks. Soldier boy, you talking about Soldier boy? Y'all give him a pass for saying crazy shit. <laughs> I don't. I I didn't say you. Okay. But they do, the fans do, Maybe. everybody does. Because they y'all. expect for they expect that. And it's like you expect that from the city girls to a certain sense and, too. And because too. you remember when him they first too. hit the you scene, saying, you and I really wasn't shit, I just saw that member from yeah, today, me, bitch. Like me, me and Dog were I was not, not feeling, feeling the city girls. And it's when still they first it's still a lot of stuff like that they, they say first, that I don't really care for, but at the same time it's like off the wild crap. I had I I forget who I was talking to they was like you know, I always have to identify with the music in order for you to like it or for in order for you to bop to it. And I just, I don't. I, I really, I may understand or hear what they talk about in the lyrics or whatever. I don't be paying attention to that shit all in spite of them visas and taking a nigga for what he got, taking nigga money, love him and dip on him. Like, I mean, it's it's funny to hear that kind of stuff be verbalized because it is be women. they be doing that for it. That's what that's what no, no, bitches really be out here doing, doing the do. But at the same time, it's just like, I don't know. It looked very one sided. It looked very. I don't know what the hell going on. My partner just walked off stage, and I'm about to try to save face the best way that I can because I can't have us out here looking crazy. Because I want hold that some down. right. Somebody gotta you know do something so we won't lose. I don't know more shows or whatever. Because that was a lot. And then it's like yo, y'all. Like Kimmy said, y'all really just be out here just cussing motherfuckers out. Like that's one thing I did not like or care for about JT. Like, mm-hmm. now granted, they do be doing the most her sometimes, like picking at her about the dumbest shit. Like their pregnancy shit was unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Like you already know what she had with Uzi, so let that go. Like don't even have, don't even do that. Are they still together? I'm Who still knows? Separated for a minute. Are they? But I don't know. But it's just like you, you kind of know what that is. So yeah. just leave it alone. But. The way that they respond to stuff, it's just, it's really not. You just have to wonder who is doing their. I don't feel their... like they don't feel like they don't have to not respond. But how you be mad about something that's already on the internet? I mean, yeah, but at the same time, it's like. I don't want to keep hearing about it. Like, my past is my past. I did it, all right. But I got to keep hearing about it for a whole year. Y'all going to keep pulling up all my mug shots for a whole year. They did the same shit to Tommy. For a whole year, I gotta keep. I like. I want to talk about something else. <laughs> like, leave me alone. Mm. Talk about something else. Talk about my crooked wig or something else. I don't. I don't I they did don't get on her about that damn wig. They did, but not as long as they did about her record. I mean, but they I just, mean, girl, her mud shots. Like they just people the same just, shit you the, the same shit you're singing about is is kind of sort of what got you in the slammer. Yeah. So it's like, should we listen to you? Yeah. Cause you at the jail. You might not know everything, but hopefully everything is okay. Um, Carisha, you know, hope everything is all right, honey. Hope every, you know, whatever. Um, I was gonna talk about the little little living lady, but I'm just gonna leave that at that. Like, leave it a rest. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna let her have her, her moment. Cause okay. when the rest of the tea was dropped, I'm telling y'all, I I like. Just started debate bay Twitter, y'all go follow that thing, debate underscore bay. Same shit we talk here, we be talking there. But baby, the the revelation that Twitter gives you on shit is very childly. It'll humble you. Cause then when I saw who she was with, it's like you don't you don't even have a choice to do either or. So just hmm. Should have just said this when I out. It's like, it's like one of those things where you just shouldn't have just. You didn't have to make that video. That's all I'm saying. You should have just let everybody. It wasn't required. They wanted to right. Say. Just let people. But see, or just found thing, a way to say And that's the thing about it. social media. You got to watch what you do. Because boy, when they come at your ass. They hand you your whole ass on a platter. They do not play. Because I'm sure and you thought you ate. I'm sure you thought you ate that. Thought you just. 
You gotta be careful what you do to these people on the internet, boy. Ooh, we will we. I feel like it would have been. I feel. I honestly feel like it would have went over better had she not did the whole name dropping situation. As she came into it on some different shit, like you know what? I noticed that a lot of these girls, their intentions or what they aspire to be is just like totally different from from what I want. And I mean, it's just like night and day, like. My aspirations is to be the mom that is blah, blah, blah. And then she going to think about Lululemon like that right there. That's your goal. And then people come in. Okay, cool. Yeah, I feel that blah, blah, blah. But you see y'all, y'all, y'all's people is Ari and Jada. Like that's who y'all idolize. That, that, like that's who y'all like. But see my, and when you do that, it's almost like this is me and this is y'all. This is y'all. That's and even exactly if, what she and did even if you And even if you're and not trying to, that. right. And even if you're not necessarily trying to say that they are the latter, that's the impression that it's given when you say, "Oh, y'all want to do that," but see, this is what I'm on. Yeah. Like you're, like you're, like you, like what you choose that, is but better. That's, but that's exactly how she, for her to come back and state that she, that's not how she intended for it to come off. Oh, it came off exactly how you intended for it. to I come just off. feel like people don't you think motherfuckers so, be saying with shit with so much confidence. You don't expect them to respond, or you don't expect them to see it what or do you rebuttal. Mean? You, you, you a TikToker, right? But I'm TikTok saying no. though, you knew it was gonna get around. You knew it. You knew. You knew it was And then it was her response to Jada, like, oh, yeah, Jada, I think you're awesome. I think you're great. I just want to, I want to be your what, friend in real bitch? life. Like, girl, no, 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 no. What? No, no, no. no. You that's just not told what, me I was beneath That's you. not what you want. I wouldn't say she no, was saying, she, she say I wouldn't say that she was saying it was beneath her, but it was like the attitude, the attitude that the she, attitude gave, that she gave made it feel like, yeah. like they were the, the latter choice of what she yeah, wanted. Yeah, it's like the attitude she gave, it said that. And when you, said, and then you just me, have to be just careful like how this, you put shit out there, man. These people, like Milan said in one episode last season when she stated that Jada Ben had her own money. Like, she built her own empire. You get what I'm saying? That was so disrespectful for you to say that that's, I'm I'm not a goal. She didn't say that. So that's the thing. I think it's more so the way she talks and all that, but that's her personality. It's that stuck up, snobby. It's, Soccer mom, it get my Starbucks. It. it literally gives How? And, and the last that check is, that you probably have is. ever seen coming to your household came from making it rain. However. However, she didn't say Okay, it. now ladies. She wasn't it like, you know, but that's goals. how she said it. She it ain't like, what no. she said, it's how she said but it. Keep in mind, she was speaking for herself. She was like, see, y'all goes with Jaden Ari. Mine is being a basically a stay at home wife pulling up going. But well, that's my thing. You didn't even have to mention them in order it's the, you didn't even have to you mention them in order to you express what you wanted. Y'all Yo, want to be an Instagram so model like a or a video vixen. It was more so like an honorable mention. That mentioned. wasn't honorable like, mention because you made it seem like it was ladder. But little their life to be like, no, your their life is no, I don't want it. What I I mean that's what I want. There's people who choose to want to, you know, wake up every day work a nine to five and you know take care of their kids and do stuff like that. But there's also people who want financial freedom so they can have houses across the world and stuff like that. That doesn't mean that either or is like, uh, and she wasn't saying it like that. It was like, that's my, this, that's y'all go. Y'all goals are Jaden Ari. And that's a fact. So basically y'all want to, so basically y'all, y'all want to be that lifestyle of being no, of being that mom lifestyle, that lifestyle of living like that. I want to be a, a stay at home mom who goes to grocery stores who on get, Monday, who, who gets out of a luxury car. I don't, I'm a, I'm a single mom who don't I'm, get out of a luxury I'm car. I'm choosing to live off of my husband. Ari and Jade are entrepreneurs. They're a business woman. But what they kind of woman empowerment today. is that to say that I, my goal is to live off of she my husband? She never said that. That's what I'm saying. It's like people take that, took that, and took it as like... Because she that's how she wasn't. said it. It's how she, it's her voice. It's her personality. That's why. It wasn't... she. And then people have to keep in mind, it Man, was they a both clip. Closed. It was like a, a comment clip. TikTok. It wasn't even like... Oh, they both went off? Yeah. Keep going. Okay. It wasn't like <laughs> it wasn't like it was a full video. And the, the crazy part is it was literally just a 10 second clip that people are going off of. It's like you have to go watch the full video. Look at this girl page. You like, okay. It's not we like getting ourselves worked up and it's not even it's And not that's even okay. Video. You just didn't have to name Joe. That's what I'm saying. A, like you didn't have to you didn't have to mention it. All you had to say was just make it generalized. You didn't have to mention that you didn't have to drop nobody's name. I feel like that's what made it. What made it ugly? In my opinion, I'm glad she name dropped because this sparked this conversation. But the bad part. The sad part about it that I have not heard any, anybody mention is the fact that it is true that you have 30, 40 year old women looking at Jada and Ari who are under 25 for fucking as their idols. And that is a fucking problem. 
that honestly is a problem. Ain't Agreed. no ain't no chemist for us to look up to. Ain't no fucking the right. the, the newest uh black na- lady at NASA. N- none of that is always Jada and Ari. Or the likes. But she ain't say nothing about no lady at NASA. She said something about being she, a stay at home mom. Ha- she didn't have to. I I, I think honestly, my I think my issue is was thing, just that so one really one situation know. is about you not having your. I'm gonna say this. No, I've been a stay at home mom. I've been a married stay at home mom. I've been a stay at home mom. I do know that being a stay at home mom is literally a full time job, seventy five eight. Like it's one of the hardest things to do. But I'm just the type of person that I just can't do the stay at home mom thing without having my own hustle. But he me, word, tiny. I'm just the type of person. Right. So I, that's what I'm saying. That's your so preference. I get what so I get what you're saying. So that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I took it the way that I took it. I didn't take it about the video vixen or I mean the the uh Instagram vixen or Instagram model thing. I just took it as you would rather sit home and let a man take care of you than to get out there and get your own bread. That's how I looked at it, plain and simple. You would rather be a stay-at-home mom to get out of your luxury car that you didn't work for, you didn't do shit for it, you just, it just was fell in your lap, and now you just make babies and you have luxury things, and then that's just what it is. You didn't gain nothing for self. You ain't got no work up there other than being just a stay-at-home mom, and I just, that's just not my thing. Like I'm saying, like, I don't, I just that's feel like... I took it, though. If, if the whole thing with... Putting people in the in the conversation, had you just made it clear like that was what you wanted, like that the conversation would have just been totally different. Like cause we're not, thing. cause we're not gonna act like we like a while ago when the guys was walking around questioning people about their cars, and the lady was she was like, "What you do for a living?" The lady yeah. was like, "I'm married." So we're not gonna act like it ain't bitches out who who that's that's they thing. That's like that's who she was talking about. She was talking about women like that. And I rest my. Everybody saw that video. Oh my gosh, I want her life. Oh, she's just da, 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 da. that's what she was talking about. That's a woman who be at Whole Foods on a Tuesday. That's her, and that's what she was talking about. And she wasn't saying nothing shady towards Jada. She even said she loves them and all type of stuff before that clip. That's what I'm saying. People took that little clip and acted like that's all she said, and it wasn't. That's her personality. It gives off that stuck up vibe. However, she was giving them. It was not even like a. It was nothing shady. It was a reference. It was a reference. She used Jaden Ari as a reference because it is a fact that that is people's goals. People want to be like Jaden Ari. They I do. get that, especially on social media. They them do. The only, I get that. only two to even mention the way they them. They changed the game know, up this with, shit, the with the blogs shit. and shit. That's the only motherfuckers they talk about. Yeah, but I don't want to be for Jayden me. Ari. It's the I just like the fact that the conversation got started because motherfuckers is out here like. There are folks who literally, that's all they want. They don't care about their kids. <laughs> they not thinking about that. That's not a goal, getting their kids, their own room and all, painting their room the way they yeah, kids want. giving them playrooms. That's play not rooms. their goal. Their goal is literally they just want to get ask, a BBL. And they can't wait to go to some specific club to stun on to some specific nigga. Like, that is their goal and will be their goal for the next three to five years. Like, that. I, that's why I like that, that conversation. Because there's a lot of folks who... Ain't, they don't want shit. And, and I'm glad this shit coming up. Not to mention, this is all people see now. People, You see more of the social media girls and how they get famous and how they get money and buy bags and have cars and the apartments and all that type of stuff. But you're not. a lot of people aren't even looking at the fact that it's other ways, especially because they're young. It's like, imagine being a young person in high school growing up watching this. This is what I got to do. This is all you see. This is the standard. These I are gotta the standards. This is what I got to do. I got to do this. I, I got to do Literally. it the same Jay way Ari, Ari did. I got to do it the standards. same way Jay so it's did. Like, this, is the, this is where we're heading. We're heading in these type of times. Hey, do you have a business or entrepreneur move that you want to get out there? This is the space to do it. Hit us up, inbox us at debate underscore bay on our IG page. Let us know what you're doing. And we'll get it all figured out in regards to a commercial for you so you can get your stuff out there. More revenue, more income, more customers. Let us know. This could be your spot right here on the Bay Bay, baby. <laughs> Hit us up. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs>
Yeah, I took it how I took it, though, period. I'm standing by what I said, because I just can't. I just Mind couldn't. Because she never said anything insulting to a single mom. But I'm just saying, what I'm what I'm saying is how I took it, because I'm just not that. I, I do, I've been a stay-at-home mom, so I get it. You know me. I done been on every side of the fence. I'm just saying, the way I took it, I just can't sit around and just let my husband just, I can I can, but the type of woman that but I am, like, I have to get up though, and do because, something. Because, like, I told her, I don't want her, at a certain point, I don't want her to work. Because that's yeah. what I'm working for, is for you to have the option. But I, not to say that you don't have your own money, because being a stay-at-home mom don't mean you don't have your own money. But there are a lot of dumbass motherfuckers that if you And only home, because I'm, make, I'm not, not speaking on Ari, because I don't know what it is exactly Ari does. You get what I'm saying? But I know for a fact we've all watched Jada grow her own brand. Like, shout it, I'm putting work for that brand. I got offended, because you get what I'm saying? Like, shit... Like, people really want to work hard to build their own shit. Shawty built her own shit. She really did. Like, but she never discredited her. That's not crazy. saying that. I'm just saying, but that's how I took it, though. It's just plain and simple. I'm sitting at home being taken care of but versus you know, doing what Jada are, did. There are women who, who want that life. There are women who want yeah. to be a wife. It's not like I'm just living off a nigga. No, I'm I'm married to him, and I have his kids. I stay yeah. at home. I take care of the household. I want I want to go get the groceries on a Tuesday. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. do. Yeah, I don't want to have to clock in at the office and do work like that. There's someone yeah. who don't want that. Mind you, that's how it was. You know, before when we got to be able. And to do I wouldn't mind stuff. doing that, so, but I I would need a hustle. Like I would need but something. See, that's you though, and that's the thing. Like, like, don't take her personal opinion as something like I'm bashing y'all or like no, this is the right way. Like how you said, like no, I'm I, I just, can't allow a man to do not, like I need my no. Own. Not even that. It's just it's, in, in my mind, I, maybe because I was just raised by a man for damn near my whole life. It's just like, if you ain't work for shit, you don't deserve shit. You get what I'm saying? So when I hear that, you just, I just want to sit at home and hear, and have my husband take care of me. Like well, that's, it just gives off lazy. But no, Tiny, even though it's not lazy, a household is a lot, it's of, a lot work. of work. It's a lot of work, but but me, I done did both. I prefer to do so, that job versus oh no. going to work. I want to do that job. I want to take care of the house, and that is a job within itself. I think everybody's perception is different, but I do understand why everybody feel like, like everybody's different interpretation of what she said was what it was, though. I do get it. I rest my case. Me too. We ain't come on. I'm about the ball. I'm okay. The Magic City. Ooh. We ain't going home. Okay, what else? Stroke us. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> One time for my independent lady. All the little stripper girl want that cake. All the little Y'all stripper girl broke? want that cake. I don't think they're broke, but I think they a no, hundred dollars away. I think them niggas is a man. I'm telling y'all, I was at one music fest. And it took about three glances at the stage to really recognize who it was. And when I figured out who it was, I was taken aback. But no, I don't think I don't think they fucked up. I don't think they fucked up by a long shot. But it's like, girl, you're not. It's not giving stay at home, mom. Jada's dating a little baby. You're dating. Or were dated on it, girl. She just like I get it. I get it. She just want to live comfortable. She don't want to. She don't need cake. to be in a line All like she be comfortable girl and be cake. happy. All the little stripper girls want to be cake. comfortable. They cake. But baby, cake. I'm going to be a nine to five. I'm not even a nine to five. Own the business, something. Oh. I'm going to need my own. Income. I ain't going like I ain't drop a cheek or two. You know they. You know, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> All kind of residuals, overseas money, them niggas locked in way better than a lot of these niggas today. I mean, that's what I say. I don't think they're down, down, down. I don't think they down and out. But it's not, it's not, it's not giving. It's not that one of their spouses wouldn't have to work. Now, all three. Yeah, one. Thank you. Okay, oh, moving, okay. On. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Any meaning money is it you? <laughs> Any mean in my name, is it you? <laughs> Any mean you yep. Is it you ready? Rock, paper, scissors on who it like girl, no. Uh-uh, bitch, you got it twice. Uh-uh. It's my motherfucker it's my turn. Go. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> it's my go. What? And we using my dice. <laughs> Cause no ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. And but, we're gonna find out them niggas like chameleon there. Chameleon also has investments and stuff. Okay. Who to say? We don't don't know. Believe it. But we don't don't know know. what they invested in. We don't, girl. We don't. Them niggas got money. Everybody be investing into something. 
Them niggas is so. They not on no Jose Guapo freaking. Who else was on and now? The one with the duck on his face. Chris, they ain't on that type of stuff. Like, <laughs> ah. you know. Don't do hurricane. It's don't do hurricane. Chris. So it's like. Oh. Exactly. exactly. Don't do rich homie. I'm just saying. No, so that, like we, no, she's actually saying some people that I can. I, I agree. And that's oh, just because child. I agree with them a lot. But no. You have to look Her at how usual. Many, look at how many hits they had, which they can still yeah. perform today, which are still Grass is orange. I, I they agree. Came from I the agree. Time, they come. They came from a time where yeah, they still had fucked up deals at that time. Them niggas didn't have no fucked up deal. But compared to now, like them niggas probably locked down a lot better than a, a lot of these niggas. Well, God They're bless them. To be dropping the tape soon. I heard. So. Yeah. God bless them and their music. Girl, don't be trying to fool. No, God, you know, hey, it mean. So we know they be performing at bar mitzvahs. Right now. <laughs> you know? No, for real. Them, look, I, I, them kids have been requesting some odd I stuff. So, yeah. Okay. For we know, they probably just do bar mitzvah gigs. Them niggas had a very <laughs> good run. Mm-hmm. They had a very good run. Indeed. It ain't like we talking about. The rich kids. Same right. era who. Because it's not even giving schoolie with them. So. Hmm. I just feel like people be so quick on. to be like, oh, motherfucker, bro. They, they got to be broke. Like, how, how that equate to you being broke? I never you said. Know what doing with I women. never said that the young men were broke. I said that it's not giving the stay-at-home mom that you are oh. portraying in this video. You literally just said maybe not all of them, but one of them. Okay. They all in the same damn group and together. It, ain't, it really ain't that much. Who are, okay, I'm confused. Whole who's who's the them? Who's, who's them we talking about? That's really not the them is. Like, uh, Travis Porter, child. Okay. It's, it's Mexicans right now in the motherfucking uh, trailer park with Escalades. All I'm well, ain't working right, right now. It's I'm not. I wasn't just referring to the Escalade, but I'm just gonna. I'm just, I'm just gonna move on. So, once again, never said that the young men were broke. I just said it wasn't giving very much stay at home mom um, vibes. Just to, to me, it's not giving that. I don't know these men's pockets clearly. But how? I don't. How that's that's just me. It doesn't. It's just because it's not. First of all, granted residuals and all this shit, but motherfuckers do remember when it, in the moment of you being in your stardom, you spend a lot of stupid ass money on a lot of stupid ass shit. Yo, career not to mention how many. To not to mention money we don't know how many kids do. these one of these motherfuckers got, so we don't know what's going on in that era. Because I heard one of them was with uh the look. Uh, what's the little team twerk team? One of them little hoes got a baby bomb or some shit like oh, that. Real. So it's like you, uh, all that shit factors in. Not to mention y'all really have not done shit. So the bills is eating away at what you do got. I ain't. I'm, I haven't heard triples cake none of that shit and no nobody's nothing. Let's do it all. Not like <laughs> it's it ain't in 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 like but it chameleon, is chameleon ass little in song rolling and riding it. that shit it be in the background of commercials it be used in all types of video and shit for nostalgia it's 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 moving it's doing something now what's the difference in oh, okay well these niggas done invested in tech they doing this that, and the third none of that shit either so it's like all I'm saying is that the money that that motherfuckers got right now like what what these motherfuckers on what these what the rappers of right now are doing what they're making. Fucking money up we the arm challenge. Ain't making no money. We know Summer Walker ain't so making no that's, money. So that's know, what I'm saying. Know, uh, Meg ain't making no money. Kanye ain't making no money from his music. We know this. So but how you gonna say them folks got money, but them it's not giving for these folks. But it's a, a mortgage really don't. A, a, a mortgage cheaper than rent. I'm I'm sure them niggas can get a mortgage. A uh, Escalade, a 2021 Escalade, it ain't that much. Luxury, you just talking about clothes and purses and shit. It's really not that, you know. I just don't understand where that, that balance come, where folks make it. It's, you know, I saw the post. It was up under there trying to clown, you know. Trying to clown for who our baby daddy was. But you never really know who invested into you know it. Saying, we don't know. A stay-at-home mom, a stay-at-home mom, it really, you know, that's very broad. I just would need to do something. 
I just I just can't do it. I mean, I could do I could be the stay at home mom. Like I said, I've done it. I've done it plenty of times. It's cool or whatever, but I can't just spend all day every day being a stay at home mom. Like I have to go to work. I need some type of outside life. If I'm not gonna be out in the clubs, running around in the streets, I need a fucking job so I can go do something. I need a gym membership. I need to be able to go do yoga, like some kind of. No, she's going to the grocery store with her no, kids on Tuesday. Pilates, that's shit. Like, one portion. I don't want to do that, but I need to be able to make some money. Like I, mean, I need to, other, it, 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 something to make me be, feel myself worth. Mexican, like, Italians, it be her. Arabic people. I just would need. I just would need to do, do something that, that give me my self worth. They do that shit. Like I, I don't would. Nobody be trying to clown them for that shit. Or I got a, I got an aunt who works literally four days out the month just so she can feel like she's doing something. Like I would have to do something. I just Damn, couldn't. Them kids, them kids, mm-hmm. tend to that damn husband. Cause okay, the my husband's got all this money. Clearly, where we could live this lifestyle. Clearly, that's a lot of work dedicated to this type of man. So it's like it's just it's a lot of work that goes into being a a housewife. I know. I was one. I know exactly. So it's like I, that's I my job. Her. Like that's my job. It's a lot, but that's I still. Me. I'm just saying. When I was a housewife, though, I yearned to work. Like I wanted to work. Even though I like, he didn't want me to work. I wanted to work because that's like I just don't. I don't want to have to wait. I don't want to have to tell you my every need. I want to be able to just go get what I need for myself because I work for it myself. Honey, keep in mind, I got the credit card already. I don't have to tell you. Like you're gonna get a call from, from American Express telling you that you have a plan. I don't even want to have them like, type of conversations. <laughs> I just want to do it for my for ER. myself. I want to be able to contribute like that's but that's me. That's exactly me. exactly. Yeah. And that's her. That's me. So and that's if, okay. Neither one is like, oh my gosh, it's like that's people difference. Both are both are still strong women getting the job done at the end of the day. Whether I'm working or I just take care of the household, my husband, my kids and all the extra stuff. Okay. I just know it's possible to do both. Are you tired? Or watching love and hip hop all the damn time. Are you sick of those same old stale ass podcasts? Are you still trying to figure out what the fuck we clapping for when we watching Drink Champs? Us too. So bring your ass on. Because it's time for Debate Bay Baby. We drop on Wednesdays and Fridays. New episodes, new content. Your favorite girls in the whole wide world. It gets no better. You looking for laughs? You looking for entertainment? You want to talk some shit? Well, this is where you come. Stop playing. <laughs> it is what it is. This is the couch to be on. So come and hang with us. See what we got to say. We do talk a lot of shit. Though. Trying to tell you. We talk a lot of shit. So please be present for the presence. Because it's a gift. <laughs> Debate May, Wednesdays and Fridays. Check us out. All right. <clears throat> so last but not least, of course, we know that shit has been plaguing the airwaves all day today, last night, early morning bullshit. Um, Danny Lee and the baby. Now, we knew the shit was shit when the shit got shitty. But, of course, when you're dealing with somebody that you like or that you love, you're literally willing to look past all of the bullshit that comes with that person. But they've really been ducked off on public shit. I didn't even think he was still dealing with her. Right. And so that was Until the thing. today. Uh, uh, this morning when you and I were on the phone. Like, I didn't even know they were still, like... Because, you know how you, when you... No, just... She wasn't even posting the man no more. That's this, so this is was. the thing. When she got pregnant, in everybody's mind, we kind of already knew that it that was, was, he was he was his child. Correct. But at the same time, like you said, they were not really doing anything together. They weren't really on their whole relationship wave, this, that, and the third. So <clears throat> it was speculation, hey, it his, could be his, whatever, but we left that shit alone. She had, like, this Q&A on her story about her pregnancy and all this other stuff, and she was answering questions and all that. She that. literally could have gone a thousand ways out of her way to be petty about the situation and talking about how that's his child. Mm-hmm. But she didn't. But she didn't. And so it was like she just used to say me and my baby daddy. And and so and, and so daddy. now that this situation has come out like 
he was sitting in the bed. And he was playing the video, and I and I really did. I didn't heard what was going on, but I was like, "What the fuck?" I thought it was some crazy shit on Facebook. He was like, "You seen what's going on?" I'm like, "No." He sent me the video, and it's them. I was not a fan of the fact that he is doing all the shit with her in the bed while she is breastfeeding. She's breastfeeding her child, and he is antagonizing her to the nth degree, making the situation worse than what it possibly already was. He alludes to her being abusive towards him. Of course, she ended up getting a charge. If you didn't know, she definitely ended up getting some paperwork on her ass because he ended up calling the, the, the day, authorities. Because Sunday, he, she didn't get any charge. They were called to the house twice. So the first time they showed up, it was nothing. But I guess the second time, he antagonized her further and she took it down with his ass. That's how I see it. I just, I, I, I just, I really, I really am over the, the narrative of the women being crazy and then the niggas want to press record and just, oh, I ain't doing shit. I ain't did shit. She just wilding out. This, it just gets, it gets really, really old. I mean, but you can see from the videos, he antagonized her. Even, even, even like you brought the argument over to the next day. You went, you brought the argument over to the next day to proceed to go on live to call this girl your side chick. Like you, you were antagonizing. You were embarrassing. Yeah, and I was like, saying like, just, like I saw a couple people. As soon as he would have said I was a side chick, or as soon as he said something in regards to that, I would have been gone. I would have left. And it's just like this. That's so. This child has her fucking what? How how many months is the baby? Three months. Three months. Three months old baby. Fresh. You come home in the middle of the night after I have cooked. You First of all, y'all ain't even supposed to be and my baby up to tell me I got to get the fuck out in the cold in South Carolina. Are you fucking kidding me? It was in L.A. Oh, in L.A.? Yeah. In the cold? Are you fucking kidding me? Either way it go, it's, it's late at night. I'm like, feeding my baby and you just come here and tell me whole, I gotta get out? We still in the middle of a fucking pandemic. Like, and I'm, you I'm not about understanding. How, how much you... You love your baby and you want to take care of your baby, but you was willing to put the baby out in the cold. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's a clown. In the wee hours and, of the night. And Mimi is even clownier because you didn't even have to put yourself in the middle of this situation. It's bad enough that you're even attributed to it. So trust me, they was going to be watching your page and see what you had to say within the following days. But you could even give it a few hours before you had to post some stupid shit about putting rich ass to sleep with the snow just with the little bird. Like, girl... You are, you just as fucking goofy. You just as goofy, if not goofier. Because the same shit she going through right now, you go through every other fucking but Saturday. How? But it was like you couldn't wait for them to get into it. So y'all both could double team because you know your baby daddy. Oh, oh, right. And I really didn't, even, I didn't even really hear her doing all that nigga, nigga, this, that, like what she was saying. Because I was more so focused on the situation itself. I, I didn't even hear any of that. I heard her say But apparently N-word. she was saying the N-word in the video. I was like, child. I heard her saying the N-word. And who you think she was saying that shit to that made it, made her feel comfortable enough to where she could spout that shit like that? The same, the same nigga that swear that he that didn't have first nothing. argument. Right. Like. You're not finna try to make it seem like this girl is just wilding out nuts and, and you just was just as but, calm I mean, as breeze in the world. Like we didn't know that man was an asshole. He's an asshole. He's an asshole. Very we know much he's an so. Asshole. His music expresses how much of an asshole he is. That time he recorded down here in Atlanta on on, on somebody on somebody block that showed he was an asshole then. The way he treats his the women, he's an asshole. He's an asshole. We know he's an asshole. I'm not, but I didn't know that he was just, he was that much of an antagonizer. Mm -hmm. Like you antagonized that woman and that was very embarrassing. And you could tell that wasn't their first argument. You could tell they probably had blowouts in front of family as, as we found out today that they have, you know, and I don't like the fact that. Who is her brother in the industry? Who is Buffalo Bill? So what does this nigga do? Anybody know? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but you can, but you can tell though. And I feel, and I do feel for her and I'm, I'm happy that she did leave, you know, just for her sanity and his sanity to get the whole situation some air. Cause the longer she stayed in the house and just declined to leave, he was going to make her miserable. Right. He was going to fuck with her. He was going to bother her until she did exactly what he wanted her to do. That's what narcissists do. So it's just like, what the fuck? And I'm not saying that she didn't 
you know, get volatile with him or throw something at him, I would have as well. I definitely would have. Because, one, you put my baby on social media when my baby has not been on social media. That yeah, so that was also very, very That was roguish of you. And you know you only did it because you was mad with me. You didn't even, we did, first of all, we didn't even know you was the baby daddy. We, we allegedly thought you was the baby daddy. Right. We didn't even know you was the baby daddy until this morning. And I think that was like one of the first thing I said, like, oh, so she finally confirmed that he was even the father. Because we didn't, like I said, we have Because no nobody was saying, he wouldn't even say nothing. Mm-mm. That's why I said, like, she could have she could have really showed her ass on a lot of stuff, but chose not to. I, I really hate this situation. And for the way her, that though. she was talking, it was like you could see the stress on her face. Like she was just like, man, like I can't believe I came back to this shit. Yeah, like I'm just over it. I'm yeah. leave. Like I didn't want to leave. But That's why it leave. was it was very like, warming to crazy. see that Summer Walker reached out to her and was like, These niggas really ain't shitting. If you need me, hit me up. Like, no cap, let me know if you yeah. need something. I'm I'm there. Yeah. Cause it's like you in the mirror with me, sis. It's, it's the same mm-hmm. shit. So it's like, child, niggas will be niggas, honey. And pray, prayers for the baby. Indeed, they will. Indeed, prayers for the baby Indeed. and Danny. Yeah, safe travels to them as they travel back to the DR to be with her family. Um, I hope the baby get in a different mental space. You know, because he does have to co-parent with two <clears throat> women at this point. Oh, I thought Some, you were talking about the the child. Talking about the daddy, nah, yeah, the daddy, the baby, Jonathan. No, Jonathan he can, he may go together, to here, co parent with you. He's gonna be right back over there with Mimi and matching Gucci hats. And Mimi, and you know what? Listening to Mimi talk today, for real, listening to Mimi talk today, I realize why they ain't that what ain't that what they normally yeah, do? Nah, like, every together, come, together. like, stop <laughs> playing. That's that's what's going to happen. That's why she mm-hmm. acting the way she acting the way she is, and it's like for you. To be in that situation, not, no no less than how many months ago. One, you on the, oh, y'all fave got another baby on the way. When y'all was supposed to be doing y'all thing, we're killing the flame. Mm-hmm. How dare you laugh or poke fun or, or do all that to a woman that's going, going through going a situation. Through like I, I said, that you literally that. go through every other Saturday, bitch. Like, this man had two kids on you. Yeah. Two. How? Because she's going to stick beside him. I'm you. You will never like, catch. You will never catch me calling the woman on for any shit that she does for a nigga. Why? Because I'd have probably done done that shit nine times, mm-hmm. and probably smiled on the tenth. Yeah. Stop playing. Yeah. Because you 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 don't know. Yeah. Like until you in a situation, you can talk all shit all you want to. Like I said, oh, when I become mom, I'm never gonna let my child talk back to me. I'm never gonna let her this that, and third. Skylar read me my every, rights every people, other fucking Thursday. Have, you don't time. know what's gonna happen until you're in that fucking like situation. Like they haven't experienced or that it's or that it ain't never gonna be you. It ain't never you until it's you, bitch. Until it's you. And it's been you several times. Yeah. But like like I said. Y'all, y'all end up in the same room with each other. He cried, you cry, y'all cry together. You fuck, you go shopping, Gucci hat, go out to eat, and and y'all be good for however long. Stop acting like you didn't see this man with this girl all over the place. Yeah. Stop acting like they didn't have pictures of them hugged up together, kissing and shit. That's why she posting all this shit now. Yeah. I could have been blasted all of these pictures, all this shit, but I didn't want to do that. Yeah. Like. Why do we do that as women, like, trying to save these niggas? Stop saving these niggas. And when a nigga show you who the fuck he is, believe like, it. believe that shit for what you fucking see. Like, for real. Because sometimes us is And then Milan told me that this girl is, is young. Who? Danny. 25, 26, bitch, you got life to, got live. life to live. Yeah, she's young. This is not the time for you to be picking, this is my one. Girl, have fucking fun. When a nigga is serious about Mimi, you, you will know Mimi, it. Mimi act just like her baby daddy though. And listen to she her do. Today, that's why. That, I didn't hear shit she said out of that whole thing of, of her that's having that what, conversation. Other than, oh, you want to, why not fight? You know what I meant. What? <laughs> and then, oh, you ain't never been cordial to me. This all you did. No, boo, that's all you did. Now, I don't know who the fuck you think is going to keep allowing you to talk to them crazy and then they not say nothing back to you. Then he's I feel my, like that's what you were expecting. She's being a part of my child life. How? How? And you putting her out. Make it make sense. You fat-headed, little, little-bodied ass no, boy. I'm saying that about him. And I think me like, and I'm just, girl, I, uh, drama, like I cannot. Please. I cannot. They dick better be doing numbers for y'all to allow this shit out of this little ass fool. This nigga wore a, a, a adult diaper around. 
You would never talk to me disrespectful. You would never come at me in the kind of way you walking around and something the people be shitting in on the regular. Please. On. Ain't no you way. a nigga doing you wrong that was out here getting his career popped off in incontinent supplies. Stop fucking playing. No. No. <laughs> no fucking ma'am. No. No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not. Like your career just has been nose diving. And it's like it's just it's go, like the plane and is what going made down. You think that was a smart move today. Like what? Especially because you know Danny has kept a lot of shit that y'all done had going on quiet. Under wrap. That's why he was like, "Oh, I can, I can. If we want to do that, we can expose some shit." Like you don't you have nothing to tell. To social media about it. You first. have nothing. But that's the thing. You don't have nothing to because tell. She called, do. But you, you had the police called, and you knew you had to cover your ass once you had the police called. Which that's you shouldn't be having was. nobody pull up in in uniform. No way, no how. All the shit you've been dealing with. It's like he, like, I don't know. I That's think this weird. young man likes to teeter totter on the edge of, of canceled and not canceled. And I'm not even a real fan of cancel culture. No. But if they was to never, ever again, I, honestly, like I told Kim Bay, I, it, the, the first album was great, but every fucking song that this man has put out ever since then has sounded like it's got some fucking bop in it. Everything sounds the goddamn same. It sounds like one continuous ass freestyle. That, and, that's, and that's just that for me. That damn said, so Masterpiece wasn't about me, but I wasn't your like, girl. <laughs> it's, too, it's, too, it's, it's too much. It's a lot. Her it's heart, too much. Her heart was broken, like, and rightfully so. And why? Because of, uh, when a, a nigga tell you one thing and then he start acting another way to make you look like you crazy. What? What? Why would she jeopardize having my infant somewhere where I could possibly stay at or not be staying? Right. I'm not fucking doing that. Right. Skylar is seven, and she in all her little eyes and ends. It'd be too fucking much for all that back and forth. So for me to have a three month old, that's bottles, change of clothes, like that's that's hella shit to be moving back today. and forth. Nah, you, we either gonna be here oh, or we, we gonna, gonna be, be here. here. Like it's it's and I all like no. So for you to be telling how long she been here, you literally are asking your security guards about your relationship. You are a dumbass. You're a dumbass, and God bless you if you if if there is anything that that you feel that is wrong that's being said. God bless, but no, nothing about the situation was fair. Nothing about it was. Nothing about it, and I'm and like I'm, you really called the police on this motherfucking girl. You in the camera? You still look like the pit bull you looked like the other day. You ain't got no scratches, no contusions, no marks, no bruises. Nothing is wrong with you. And if and and damn it, if she tried to slap, and if she tried to slap the shit out of you, you you probably worked that one up, honey. Yeah, you could tell. I mean, she was trying to walk up and laugh about it. We do not condone domestic violence at all. I'm the first one to say, don't be. But I was just about to say, but you're not fit to be fucking with nobody either. And if he and if he was doing the same shit that he was doing on that video, and you doing that shit to me and my baby, not in my hands. I'm talking about you holding I am the probably going to try to take you your holding eye holding the baby. You holding like, my baby. No. He's, he, talking that's trash a, about me. That's so that a means sad you ass situation. The room. You done tried to do all types of. That's a sad ass situation. I, I really fine. hate that she has to go through that shit. I hate that it's happening to her. I hate that all of this shit is, is going the way that it is. But I will say this and I fucking mean it. If this situation don't motherfucking do it. I don't want to hear another motherfucking soul go to the rescue. Because if this don't fucking show you that that ain't what you need to be or who you need to be dealing with, you literally you are literally looking past red flags on purpose. Yeah. Like that, this it don't get no planner than this. That that was crazy. And it wasn't even about the embarrassment for me when it came down to her. It was just the hurt that you knew she felt. Hell yeah, like, that's why I said everybody like, hung up on her saying, this. "Nigga, granted that ain't your words, sis. Get out your vocab." But at the same time. If I'm hanging around somebody who I'm saying nigga to on the daily and we having a conversation, it's, it's part of my. It's gonna be part of my vocabulary at some point. Yeah, it is. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, with that yellow bone shit, when when she first popped that shit off, you was right up under that post with the yellow hearts and the kisses and shit. And then when the world mm-hmm. started digging in her ass, where'd the comment go? Deleted. I'm just child. 
Y'all better stop letting these niggas ride y'all careers into the ground. Meanwhile, they 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 moving the fuck on. I feel like they can just freely switch up on you and still get loyal. This this behind. really me typing. No PR. Go to hell. Go to hell. This really me typing. No Nobody PR. give a fuck if it's really you typing. Please. All of it is retarded. You should never place that on social media for anyone to. And see. then making fun out of by posting, I want a little bit of uh love and love thin line between love and hate mixed with something else, and it's like that's not funny. You're toxic. You're narcissistic as hell. hell. Like, no. Oh, that was so in to see. And I don't know what he thought he was gonna get out of that. I don't know what he. Thought. I wish her and that baby well. I wish. I hope that Beautiful she leave baby, this. Though. I mean, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Baby. I hope she leave this situation where it's at and and let it rot and let it be. Let Mimi feel like she's continuing to win with a nigga who don't want her either. Clearly, family, feel love. And take that baby somewhere where they where they gonna see some some and take time some for actual yourself for your own mental right health. like take some no time for yourself, baby, yeah, that baby don't need to be around this shit because y'all think that they don't feel or they don't see this shit but trust me I trust yeah, me they that do. they do they trust do. me that they do they do but we thank y'all for tuning in and talking shit with us on another episode of the celebrity bullshit we love y'all and we'll see y'all again real soon honey we Bye out y'all.